Welcome to the StockAid 400i cleaning maintenance video. First, we want to make sure that we have all the tools required for the job, and the tools are as follows. You're going to need a 4mm hex head Allen wrench, or an aftermarket battery powered one. Old toothbrush for scrubbing, a lint-free cloth, Paslo degreasing oil, Paslo degreaser, safety glasses, safety gloves, and a plastic drip tray to capture any runoff. Before we start, we want to make sure that the tool is safe by removing the battery, the gas cylinder, and any staples that are on the magazine itself. Step one, dismantle. The first step is going to be to remove the top filter cover by twisting it counterclockwise or to the left, placing that to the side. Next, you want to take the mesh air filter, carefully setting that aside as well. Then you want to take your four millimeter Allen wrench or power driven Allen wrench if you have one available and unscrew all four of the screws itself. Leaving the screws in place, you want to remove the cap and set that off to the side. Next, that's going to reveal the uh, motor. There's a black wire that you want to remove for the spark. Simply pop that off. And then the wire on the opposite side runs the fan. You want to unplug that. Put your fingers into the grill and gently remove the fan assembly and place it on the side blades up. Remove the black spacer cap. Set that off to the side. Next is to remove the contact element on the nose piece. You want to release the red handle, slide forward, and place the contact element off to the side. Step two, we're ready to degrease the tool. Using the handle with a toothbrush, you want to push the piston to the front of the tool or in the down position. Place a lint-free rag inside the bore and push it to the front or the down position with a toothbrush handle. Grab the Paslo degreaser and liberally spray inside the cylinder. Next, you want to use the handle of the toothbrush to pull the rag up and down, side to side, left to right, focusing on any stubborn stains or carbon buildup. Once you're satisfied that that's clean, you want to remove the rag. Taking the rag with any degreaser that's on it, wipe around the opening of the tool and the nose until it's visually clean. Next, you want to paste the contact element on the tool and depress the nose. When you do this, this allows you access to the combustion chamber, which you can also wipe down. Place the head of the contact element aside to dry. Next, you want to pick up the fan motor assembly. Locate the two steel O-rings. Using the Paslo degreaser, you want to liberally spray around the O-rings and fan. Use the rag to remove any built up residue on the fan motor assembly. Once you're satisfied that it's clean, flip it over and you actually want to spray the spark plug and the points on the other side, wiping down and cleaning them as well. Next, you want to pick up the air filter and over top of your drip tray, you want to liberally spray with degreaser over the tray. Use your fingers to work in the degreaser and then use your lint-free rag to wipe down both sides of the filter. Step three, we're ready to lubricate the tool. Taking the handle of the toothbrush, push the piston to the forward or down position. Use the Pazload Impulse Lubricant to put a ring of oil around the inside of the cylinder. Using the firing pin and the toothbrush to push the blade up and down to get a consistent covering inside the cylinder. Do this several times to make sure it's a consistent covering. Once that's complete, 
you want to put the work content element back on the tool and depress the nose. Once that's done, that's going to expose the eight chambers inside the bore. And you want to drop several drops of oil into the chamber in each cylinder itself. Work the chamber up and down several times to get a good lubricant coverage. Once that's complete, place the tool head and contact element off to the side. Next, you want to pick up the fan and motor assembly. You want to locate the two steel O-rings. Ensure that the gap in each one is on the opposite side of one another or 180 degrees apart. You want to apply oil all the way around those two steel O-rings. Running them in two full revolutions will work the oil in nicely. Again, reassure that the gaps uh, on the O-rings themselves are separated at 180 degrees. Next, you want to apply a drop of oil to the fan shaft, spin it a couple of times, place the fan motor aside. Okay, step four, we're ready to reassemble the tool. First thing you want to do, replace the spacer ring, making sure that the wires are on the inside of the ring. Next, you want to pick up the fan motor assembly and put it in place, ensuring that the spark plug is on the right-hand side of the tool. Again, the spark plug is the black wire. Reconnect the spark plug by snapping the black wire into place. And then the fan motor plugs in as well. The wires are only long enough that you can do this in one way. You can't mess it up. Pick up the rear cover and put it in place, ensuring that the lugs are on top of the tool. Call them the wings also. Once they're in place, you want to tighten the screws by using a 4mm power-driven one or just a 4mm Allen wrench. Do not over-tighten. Firm is good. Next, you're ready to replace the air filter. It's got a small wing on it that only fits in one way. It can't go in upside down. Grab the back cover, tilting it off to the left, spin it back to the right, and snap it into place. Next, you want to replace the contact element, securing it to the nose clip. You might have to press it up slightly to get that into place. Once that's done, you want to replace the staples. the gas, then the battery. Once the battery's in, flip the uh, tool over. Make sure that your gas lights uh, and battery lights are functioning properly, and you should be ready to test fire. Thanks for watching.